We're moving the goats up some mountains. This is our unboxing of Mountain Goats. So this has a funny story of why we picked this up at Gen Con. We were sitting at the restaurant during one of our brief lunch periods because we finally got a lunch and we sat down and some nice couple was sitting next to us and they started playing this game just in the middle of the bar table restaurant that we were at. And we look over at them and he's like, what are you playing? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> and it caught his attention. They started explaining it and we're like, yeah. and then Lee picked it up. So my whole thing, my, my theory or my, my logic behind it was, you know, we're at Gen Con. It's the middle of the day. We're in a restaurant. You could just be playing, you know, you could be playing this somewhere else or whatever. They specifically went to a bar restaurant, ordered food. And then while they're waiting, they cracked this open and just started playing it. So I was like, that must have been a really good game for them to do that. I mean, this is a small box, so yeah. like you couldn't really bust out Foundations of Rome <laughs> or Dwellings of Eldervale at a restaurant. So they had to choose a small box game. Right. So I don't know. I just thought I understand. a lot of effort I, went there. So 14 years, two to five, 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. Roll some dice, then choose how to combine them to move your goats up the mountains. There is only room for one goat at the top of each mountain. The longer you stay at the top, the more points you score. It's a game about timing. You need to not just get to the top of the mountain, but get there when no one else is in position to knock you off. So yeah, so king of the hill type of game. Scoring points. The rolling the dice is the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, but we'll see if it's some mitigation to it somehow. I think this was the one where if, if you rolled a low one, that, that was actually like good. But then I would roll high one. Okay. <laughs> it's not about high or low, it's about I do the opposite of yeah. what is required. I like the little goat meeples as well. So they're just the same thing, but in different colors. But I did think that they were kind of fun. Yeah, there's a bunch of different colors of them. So you got a little variety there. Got your dice. Bag? Bag for... Are they punch outs? I don't know. I think they're... Oh, yeah. Punch out. Point punch out. Six, nine. Nine, ten. Twelve, fifteen. Ten. Five. Five, six. Six, seven. Seven, eight. Eight, nine. So just a bunch of numbers, and I think you kind of line them up, right? So you got nine, da, da, da. is that how it happens? I think that's how it happens. But then, yeah, but then you would have your goat and you would like go up. So basically you gotta get to the top, not get knocked off. The longer you stay at the top, you get points. This is the rule book. That's all that there is to it. So one page, very small. True definition of a small box game. And that was our unboxing of Mountain Goats. What'd you think? You ready to be king of the mountain? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying our content, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, I'm Lee. And I'm Kenny. I go party like a board gamer.